This tutorial shows the use of logical operations with strings. Also shown is the use of the string comparison function. Define string S1. Check if the elements in S1 are equal to lowercase l. The booleans, ones and zeros, represent the true and false cases for each element. The last two elements of S1 satisfy this criterion, as shown. Check if the elements in S1 are equal to uppercase L. None of the elements in S1 satisfy this criterion. Check if the elements in S1 are less than lowercase l. Come before it in the English alphabet. The first element in S1, capital D, is the only one element that satisfies this criterion. Define string S2. Define string S3. Check if the elements in S1 are equal to the elements in S2. Since S1 is of length 4 and S2 is of length 5, this command produces an error as shown. Check if the elements in S2 are equal to the elements in S3. The third, fourth, and fifth elements in S2 and S3 are the same and satisfy this criterion. Check if the elements in S2 are less than the elements in S3. The second element in S2, lowercase a, is the only element that satisfies this criterion. Next is shown the use of the string compare function. Define string S1. Define string S2. Check if the elements in S1 are equal to the elements in S2. This result is a vector of length 4 with all 1's as shown. The string compare function compares the two strings, S1 and S2, and returns a 1 true, indicating that they are the same. Define string S3. Check if the elements in string S1 are equal to the elements in string S3. This produces an error since S1 and S3 are of different lengths. The string compare function compares the two strings S1 and S3 and returns a zero, false, indicating that they are not the same. The string compare function is useful when the desired result is a scalar, either a 1 or a 0. Thank you for using MATLAB Marina for your programming needs.